Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I am here with my winter edit sale items from FabFitFun. I am going to unbox them. I have been gone for a little while, so at the end of the unboxing, I will get into a little bit about where I've been in case you have been curious. Some of you have been asking and that's so nice that people were even noticing, but first I'm gonna unbox this. I'm really excited. So you can see I'm not in my usual filming space. I moved. I completely uprooted myself, so I'm sitting on the floor of my parents' bathroom right now, one of their bathrooms, the pink bathroom, if you you, you can probably tell. Um, so uh, you're propped on the toilet, to be honest. This is very strange, but I will get used to uh, a consistent filming routine again. I'll talk about my updates after I unboxed. I started to get into it, sorry. <laughs> okay, so I, um, I will put as usual in the description box below what I bought and how much I spent on each item in case you're curious. I think I spent $200 this time, um, maybe like 205 or something like that. So this is something that was in the last sale and then it showed up again in this sale. This is the red carpet facial in a box and it retails for something like over $100. <clears throat> the last sale they had it for, I don't know, 29 maybe. And then this sale they had it for $14 and people were saying really good things about it. So I picked one up. I thought it would be really fun to play with with my mom or something. And yeah, I'll let you know what I think. If you are new to my channel, I also do reviews on the products that I use so I can let you know what I think about them once I do use them. I love this. This is, I've talked about this a lot on my channel. This is the Bear Republic Mineral Face Sunscreen. So I maxed out on these. They were $5 each and if you buy, buy them at Target they're $15 so I essentially got three for one so there should be a third one in here yeah here it is so I maxed out on these this is nothing new I love these um I also I should say that I've never used another mineral face sunscreen uh this is the only one I used because I got it from FabFitFun so there could be better out there but five dollars is a great price and I really do like this one <clears throat> Okay, so I, if you haven't noticed, I have curly hair, and I like the Marrakesh products that I have used so far, the Marrakesh, Marrakesh hair products. This one I have not used yet. It's their styling cream, essentially. I'm filming on my phone, and I don't really know how the focusing works. Um, anyway, so... I think you could get a good look at that. This is the multi-purpose styling cream. And if you don't know, styling cream is really nice on curly hair. So I went ahead and I sprung for two. I have used the Marrakesh uh, hair oil and I really, really like it. And I've used the Marrakesh um, leave-in treatment spray, which I also really, really like. So I took a gamble and I got two. I usually only get one if I haven't used a product before, but it had really good reviews. So I picked up two for $5 each. And it has the scent of the oil and the leave-in spray. They both have a similar scent. And this has that scent as well, which I really, really like. It kind of smells like kind of like a really nice Nog Champa type smell. It's not Nog Champa, but it reminds me of a smell you would smell when you walk into a really high-end, new age, hippie type store. It's a really nice smell. I like it a lot. Okay, now, okay, so Sonage products, like this one, first time it was available, this Olga Lorenzen uh, red carpet facial in a box. The first time the Sonage products were showing up in sales, no one knew anything about them, no one knew what to think, and they had a lot of Sonage this time around, and people were actually saying really great things about Sonage. So I did the refresh game where you add something as a favorite and you refresh hoping to land it in your cart. And I picked up the bundle. This was $19 and they were all full size products. I did talk about this in my edit sale review video that I did. So it has four things. So we're going to go through this $19 and they're all full size, four things. It was great. And it was awesome too, because I have dry skin and the moisturizer that was included is the dry skin one. They had two moisturizers available in the sale. I got the, the one that was included in the bundle is the rich 
cream one and that's for dry skin. The other one was Souffle, which is better if you don't have as dry of skin. So this is their Luminez Vitamin Rich Cream Moisturizer. And I need moisturizers. I, I don't need moisturizers. I was gonna say, I was gonna rip somebody off. I was gonna say I need moisturizers, like I need another head. But then if I needed, a, if I had a he another head, I would need more, more moisturizers. Someone said that on the forum. Anyway, that's where I was going with that. <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> then I have the Patagonia Berry Stem Cell Mask. So I'm not gonna open and look at the moisturizer because I have so many and I wanna extend the life on it, but I am gonna look at this and see what this one's all about. Okay, so looks like this. They had pictures of these. I'm curious if I can smell this. Hmm, it smells so nice. I'm excited to play with that. I haven't done a mask in a long time. I'll explain why when I tell you about where I've been. Okay, and then here's a collagen boosting serum from Sinaj. People were people were just saying wonderful things about him. Kind of every sale, there's always some superstars of the sales, and the Sinaj products were definitely on the FabFitFun forum, one of the most talked about things. So I'll give this a go, tell you what I think. I don't think I have any serums right now actually so that's good and then here's a gommage exfoliating gel so I'll use this I'll, I'll let you know what I think so for all four of those things it was $19 that was a really good deal I was really pleased to see people finally saying anything about them because they always intrigued me but there were never any reviews so I will do I will do a Sinaj video usually I just do my videos where I talk about random stuff that I've used. These are yoga blocks. I am pregnant. I've been getting into prenatal yoga. It's expensive to pay for prenatal yoga, so I'm gonna start doing it at home. I've really, really been liking it. So these feel pretty good. They um, they feel like yoga blocks. They're, they're, they feel decent. So they were $5 each. So if you're, if you're gonna do any yoga and you want yoga blocks, you need two. I don't know if you were wondering about that. Um, I can't tell what that's supposed to be. But anyway, here's the brand, Ba'a, or maybe that's supposed to be some sort of abstract letter. Bala, it says on the back, Bala Bangles. That's right, I remember now. So that's a, like an italicized L. That's what it's, who it's by. So yeah, awesome. I'm gonna do some prenatal yoga today, hopefully. Okay, oh, I really like this. I've talked about this before. This is the Ahava Hydration Cream Mask. And you know, I'm kind of curious. This is the old packaging. They rebranded the packaging for this. Let's see if I can find an expiration date. People have been starting to, people have often been skeptical of expiration dates of the products from FabFitFun, and I, I definitely understand why. These don't have expiration dates though. They just have the period after opening dates where it looks like a little, so you really, oh my phone, I don't know. You really want to pay attention to this symbol and it looks like a little canister that's being opened and then it says uh, 12 M that means period after opening is 12 months in case you didn't know I thought I'd explain it so they, it should be fine it should be fine but this is the old packaging I picked up one of these because my husband often really likes to try my hair products uh, his styling creams work great and that's what I usually use like styling creams or styling lotions <coughs> Excuse me. This looked like it would work really well in short hair, so I got this for him. Aranco. Aranco has been a brand that's been hit and miss for me. A lot of people really like the line across the board, but this is kind of like a, it's a glossing wax. It kind of looks like it functioned like pomade. Something I like about Aranco is they often do little short videos showing people using their products. And usually they, the people using their products have very straight, uh, thin hair. My hair's not very thick actually, but they have very straight hair, so it doesn't feel like it's for me. Oh, here's a brow gel. I just went in through this in my cart. I like using them. This is Billion Dollar Bat Brows. I have right now an e.l.f. one. It was $4. I figured, what do I have to lose? how they probably can't mess this up and then I can tell you what I think of a billion dollars brows product. So this looks a lot like the e.l.f. wand. 
that I have that I use. So I think that this is going to be just fine. Um, the e.l.f. one I have is almost out, so that's awesome. I'm just going to throw this. You can see I'm still, I'll explain where I have been anyway. Okay, <laughs> I'm still living out of packed stuff. Um, so there were a bunch of shampoo and conditioner sets in the sale, and I, uh, it was pretty easy choice for me. I talked about it in my product reviews video of the edit sale, but I went with the Supernatural, well, okay, we are Paradox Supernatural Shampoo and Secret Weapon Conditioner. So here they are. I will let you know what I think of them. I have used their hair mask, and what I had said about that is that it was, it smelled really nice, botanical, spa-like, which is a, a scent that is one of my favorites. I didn't feel like it was as hydrating as I want a hair mask to be, so that was a little bit of a bummer, but that's okay. It felt like a conditioner, so I could still use it. And then another thing I really like about this company is that they're organic, cruelty-free, sustainable, all of that, and they make a point not to use plastic to reduce uh, their use of plastic. So I think that this pump is plastic, but the rest of this, I believe, is aluminum. At least that's what they said. Let me see if I can confirm that quickly on here. I'm not going to be editing this video because I am very, very busy, but I don't see it to confirm quickly here. I will, I will let you know when I review it though, but let's see how they smell. I am very curious how they smell. I'm using some AG hair care uh, shampoo and conditioner right now, and I was really bummed that I did not like the way it smells. Okay. It has a little bit of that organic, um, not organic, that botanic smell, the bot botanical smell, but uh, not very strong at all. So that's nice. I like that. I like things that aren't overly scented. Yeah, and that one too, a little bit more. It's like a botanical natural scent. It says it's 91% natural on the shampoo and 95% natural on the conditioner. I can tell you that they didn't have the greatest reviews. None of the shampoo and conditioner sets on the in the sale had like the most amazing reviews, but I just wanted to pick one up. Um, oh, and this looked really just kind of like a novelty. This is another thing. I have a few things in this sale that I sprung for just to try out. I usually I usually look for things that have more backup reviews, more research and everything. And I, I kind of just took some chances in the sale. Um, for instance, these, the shampoo and conditioner and the red carpet facial, I took some, some chances. So this is one I took a chance on. This is R and Co cleansing foam conditioner. I'm just running low on conditioner. So I thought I would add this to my cart and hope that I like it. I've had trouble with R and Co's fragrances. They fragrance their products in like really unique ways. Oh, <laughs> Anyway, so I'll, I'll see and I'll let you know what I think of that. I got three of these <laughs> Ahava hydration cream masks. I forgot about that. I really, really like them and I am going to gift one to my sister at some point, I'm sure. Um, Luxie brushes, this kind of completes and rounds out my brush set collection. I don't need any more brushes after this. And I don't really wear a lot of makeup, but I've been doing the get ready with me's once in a while. So I have been needing brushes for that. And it's just been really, those are really fun videos to do. Let's see, I'll show you one of them. So this is how it came packaged with a little netting and a plastic protector. So yeah, they're, they're pretty great brushes. I have the eye pencil one, I have eye pencil one, the eye brushes of theirs. And then the funny thing is I am getting a Tribe Beauty box that also has Luxie brushes in it. So I am set on brushes. I don't need any more brushes. Okay, this is a lip balm trio set by Feel. Uh, Feel, they're just called Feel. And this had really good reviews. So I threw them in and I feel like I could keep one or two and then I like to give, you know, when you give a gift and then you have a little something else to include that so it's not just that one thing, I will probably give away one of these in, in that kind of way at some point. But I've heard really good things about these. I just put on chapstick, otherwise I would try it. This is one of the things that I was talking about where I'm, I'm just taking a gamble. I found three reviews. This is a hair conditioning mask 
and it's made in Paris, I believe. Yeah, made in Paris. Um, and I, I just am low on conditioners. I don't have a hair mask, so I took a gamble. We're gonna see what this smells like. People, three, I found three reviews and the reviews were amazing for it. Oh, it smells uh, kind of fruity. Like, uh, not so much citrus, maybe a little bit like melon. It smells good. It smells really good. It looks a little bit like gel too. It's not like, ooh, and it's very, uh, the viscosity, it's okay. Anyway, I will let you know what I think. It, it looks like gel. It's more watery than I would think it would be, which is fine, just was a little surprise there. Uh, and I will let you know what I think. I almost got it the last sale. They had it again and I was just, I need stuff like that. So I went ahead and got it. It was on the pricier side. I think it was $20. What is this now? Oh, and then I also got, I've been a big fan lately of putting on a nice lip conditioning treatment before I go to bed. So I got the Grown Alchemist one. And people were saying some things on the forum about it not being what they expected, but I went ahead and just grabbed it anyway. It was $11, so it better be pretty amazing. I will only wear it at night so that it can really do its job. And um, I found that I've been doing that. I had a Jouer one that was available on a sale like a year ago that's running out. And I found when I do that, and especially if I do that and I'm <clears throat> exfoliating my lips, my lip color just lasts so much more beautifully. So I've been really into that. I went ahead and got this Amy Kestenberg wallet. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, it comes in this nice little bag. And then here it is. It looked like it could be kind of classy. It's not real leather, leather, of course, but so it's just a bifold like that. And people that had gotten it said they really liked it. So I, I don't love my wallet. I haven't had a wallet that I've liked in a, ever, maybe. And so I wanted, and it was this was seven dollars, and it's, it's just it looks it looks so, it looks so grown up. <laughs> it looks so grown up and ladylike. So I am excited to give this a try. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, it looks very nice. It feels really good. The stitching looks really good. I have the Amy Kestenberg hanging travel bag. Um, I thought it was behind me in this box here, but it is not. I don't know where anything is in my life. I went ahead and grabbed a backup of this because I really like this. This is an oil-based makeup remo remover. You can use it for the double cleanse, $5. The ingredients are amazing. I did read someone that had an allergic reaction to it, and there actually is a warning uh, I think it's because of the almond oil, maybe because of a nut allergy anyway, but all the ingredients are, it's, it's organic. It's, uh, organic cold pressed almond oil, lavender essential oil, vitamin E and aloe vera extract. And that's all it is. And it works amazingly for the double cleanse, <clears throat> double cleanse to thoroughly like get your eye makeup off, especially it really gets my mascara off really well. So that is it, that's everything that I bought in the edit sale. Again, I will put in the description box below what I got and what I paid for it. Oh no, I lied. Here's one more thing. I got jewelry. I always say don't get jewelry, but this one is made of stainless steel. So the reason I say don't get jewelry from FabFitFun, I don't say don't get jewelry. I say double check the material it's made out of because oftentimes it's just brass or alloy or something. But this one is stainless steel, and I'm having difficulty opening it. And it's a dainty layering necklace. So I thought that this would be quite nice. And it is, especially because I'm starting a new job. I think I'm gonna dress, need to dress a little bit more nicely for it. So that's gonna be great. Okay. So where have I been? Some of you already know that I accepted I accepted a new job and that I was going to be moving. So I am in the thick of that right now. It has been insane. I just drove from Northern California to Southern California with a car full of stuff. 
My husband had his truck packed full of stuff. We had movers last week load a pod and that went to storage. And we are now staying with my parents and we will be looking for a house to buy. We are going to meet a realtor pretty soon, which is fantastic. Everything that is happening is really good, but I am, I am feeling the kind of emotional whirlwind of it. On top of that, I am five months pregnant. Well, I'm 20 and a half weeks pregnant. So whatever that equates to in months, we talk in weeks as pregnant women. Uh, so I, um, yeah, I've been dealing with that. My filming area has been packed up and I don't even know where my tripod is. Like I'm filming on my phone right now and you're propped on the toilet. And that is where I'm at. But I do miss you all so, so much. Thank you to those of you and who noticed that I was even gone. That is always so surprising and sweet when that happens. And um, as far as baby, though, I, I missed one more thing. We'll look at this after I'm done. Um, <laughs> as far as baby is concerned, he is doing just fine. I don't even know if I did a gender reveal. It's a boy, <laughs> so that's super exciting. Uh, he's doing just fine. We had our 20-week ultrasound, which is a really comprehensive ultrasound and it takes 45 minutes. They look at like every single body part and confirm the sex. And anyway, um, yeah, so it's nice to have the hardest part of the move over. There's still more to come. Also resigning from my job was really, really tough. I loved that job. I loved the people. They were crushed that I was leaving. I was crushed to leave. And I have a new job I'm starting in a few days from the film from filming this right now. So, um, and they don't know, they don't know that I'm pregnant. So I, um, that's another kind of hard thing that I have coming up that I'm not really looking forward to. It's all for the sake of getting this baby into a home because I couldn't afford a house where I was living before. I was living in one of the most expensive areas in the United States. And it just, it, it just became quite clear that we couldn't stay. So a lot of sacrifices. I feel like I've been uprooted, but I am looking forward to growing new roots here. I'm looking forward to figuring out how to get back on a filming routine. I um, I hope that it. I hope that I can. My parents don't really know I do this, so I have to tell them so that they understand <laughs> to leave me alone. And I don't even know what they're gonna think of it, but they'll probably be fine. Anyway, so uh, it's just a lot. It's just a lot. I slept on the floor 20 weeks pregnant in a sleeping bag for three days, the last three days. Last night was the first night in a bed again, and that was really, really splendid. So I am going, uh, we were, we're going a little crazy. My husband and I are hanging in there. It's stressful for him too. He had to quit his job as well, and he doesn't have a job here yet. He's in social work, and so that means, you know, social workers are, are are angels among us, but they do not get paid well at all for the kind of work they do. So he's kind of at the mercy of my career because I make more money. So he had he's, he followed me. We did what we needed to do. So anyway, I missed this, and it is a daily concept. Uh, Oops, it came in this. It's a Daily Concepts headband for when you want to wash your face, etc. So I have one. It was a gift from somebody, but it has like glitter on it. And <laughs> I don't want glitter on my on my uh, headband that I wash my he face with. So I got this one. It's like a little towel. It's terry cloth, which is pretty awesome. Well, it might be microfiber, which is bad for the environment. 85% polyester. So and then 15% polyamide, which I'm not sure what that is, but that sounds like a microfiber blend. Regardless, I am excited to use this. Anyway, I am sorry I've been so absent. I hope to be on here more regularly now. Bear with me if it takes some time to ramp back up to a regular filming schedule. I Again, I love and miss you all. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.